White County family is now home after being caught in the middle of an attack that claimed the lives of five people at a Florida airport. News 18's Brad Oppenheim had the chance to talk to the family and shares their story of survival. Friday marked a day of sheer panic for thousands after chaos broke out at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. This came after 26-year-old Esteban Santiago got his checked handgun from baggage claim, took it out of its case and opened fire. Among those in the midst of the event unfolding were Dirk and Drake Flack of Reynolds. They were waiting to catch a flight back home following a family vacation. It wasn't too long before they learned of the first signs of trouble. Uh, kids started pulling out our phones and checking the news outlets and uh, I had gotten news five or ten minutes later as we we're sitting in Terminal 1 that there was been uh, what was confirmed was an active shooter in Terminal 2 baggage claim area. Drake says travelers were just trying to get a sense of what was going on. Mm -hmm. Several people walked over to the TVs, uh, watched the news on TV, see people texting, calling loved ones, letting them know that uh, they were okay. And it was kind of a surreal thing to see everyone watching. Um, what's going on in the exact same building that you're in. At this point, the Flax caught word that the gunman was detained. Around 2.15, they were set to board their flight to Indianapolis, but they never made it on the airplane. It was about 2.25 when uh, two of us in our party heard gunshots, and uh, at the same time, hundreds in the terminal um, jumped to the ground, uh, covering their heads, huddling uh, as groups, screaming, yelling. Um, and in absolute terror, not knowing what was going on. We had our heads down, um, and we were down on the ground, uh, certainly shocked for three, four, five seconds before we heard TSA agents walking around saying, get outside, everyone outside, outside. That's when they made a run for the tarmac. 50 yards away from us, there was a herd of, I want to say, 150 people running our way saying, get to the, get to the fence, get to the fence. Dirk says that's when airport officials began moving people away from the airport. Police cars uh, by the dozens are running back and forth, honestly, in both directions. Drake says he and his family just kept running farther and farther away from the airport. After spending a couple hours at a nearby fire station, the Flack family and other individuals got on a bus. That's when they were taken to a staging area at a nearby cruise line terminal. We found, uh, lucky enough to find a hotel room nearby. And we got out of there. On Saturday, the airport reopened and the family went back to claim their luggage. Dirk says the next flight to Indianapolis wasn't until Tuesday, so family members destined for Indiana spent Saturday driving home. They say they're just glad they made it out safe. After going through something like this, uh, we're just pretty darn lucky. We were very blessed to be safe the whole time, uh, even, even when we were scared in, in chaos and not knowing what's going on. Uh, we think of the people that were uh, not as fortunate. Brad Oppenheim, News 18. Dirk Flex says while he may be a little more cautious, he won't let Friday's shooting keep him from flying in the future.